So, there's already a lot of backlash on a video that we posted not too long ago about the narrative that's being driven in Africa by two great basketball entities that are doing a lot of good things in Africa. Should we start off with that? A lot of good things. But to everything that is good, it's not always 100% good. And every bad thing is not always 100% bad. So before we get into that, I do want to thank you one more time for tuning in and watching one of my videos. And for those who are coming here for the very first time, please make sure you do subscribe. Okay, let's get into it. We're talking about FIBA and NBA. They came together to form a league by the name of BAL which I'm sure a lot of Africans are very excited about it. I'm also excited about this thing. It's going to be great for the continent as a whole. It will bring about a lot of reforms. I'm talking about different governments that will be forced to address certain issues such as immigration, taxation, which all in all is going to help a lot of Africans. We're talking about just the mobility and trade within Africa will skyrocket. This is good for the people. Now it's great. Now, the only problem that I have so far are two communications that these two entities have put out. One, we start off with FIBA. FIBA came out with the communication stating that they sent Egypt's Basketball Federation to go and rule Africa. This was way back in the 60s. I mean, we can give them leeway talking about this was back in the 60s, but let's be real. There were no websites back in the 60s. This is a communication that was put out recently and it's out there and um, you can take it for what it is. Face value or not, that's really up to you. I look at it, I'm saying this is just straight out blatant, brazen and just straight out disrespectful. And then we listen to the vice president of BAL, John Menyo Plunge. I am still not sure if I'm correctly pronouncing that name. But okay, so let's just call him John. John came out talking about they had to build the foundation. We're talking about everything that has been done by the indigenous people, meaning Africans, really didn't make a whole lot of sense and it's not part of that foundation. So they had to just get rid of all that and build their foundation themselves so the sport could exist. Hence, bow will come about. So, this to me just stood out like, you know, straight out talking about the African people can't really do anything and you need messiahs to come in. This is a messiah-like complex to me. That's the way I'm looking at it. Now, I know a lot of people got really mad at me saying, you know, I'm trying to start something that always people were trying to start something. But the truth is, it's right out there, man. It's really not up to me to make that decision. I see it the way I see it. Like I said before, I truly do believe that BAL is going to be beneficial to the both of us, meaning those two entities and also Africans, meaning the foreigners and the locals, the continent. That's Africa. But at the same time, you do have to recognize what you're dealing with. And that is just being true to yourself and actually looking at the facts and not getting emotional or getting caught up in what we are going to get in a short period of time and not and not the long haul. This is all a lifestyle. We're talking about driving the narrative. And once you drive that narrative, it opens up the door to everything else that comes later. We're talking about contracts and everything. When off the jump, off the bat, you see the person that you're dealing with, not a partner because they're not looking at the Africans as partners. They're looking at Africans as victims. They're coming to save. That's the issue here, right? You're being saved. You're not partnering up. All those people, I'm talking about Kagame building that arena. No, it was actually NBA talking to Kagame, so they made him do it. They didn't work together as partners. That's the narrative. It might not be the case, but when you write stuff like that, that is what it implies. Now, this is a narrative that's being drilled into the next generation and this next generation if they buy into that if they buy into that narrative that is what is going to happen now i am here to just hold people accountable i could be wrong but 
It's really hard to be wrong when all the facts are just out there. I'm, when I say all the facts are out there, these are two different communications. Now, I'll tell you one thing. You're right. It could be a clerical issue, right? Okay, let's get into that. It could be a clerical issue. But I have worked with the NBA on Junior NBA. And believe me, they are very strict when it comes to communication. We're talking about what t-shirt you wear, what brands will be seen on the cameras. They are very, very meticulous when it comes to those things. Very, very strict. When you have some of the executives go out there and speak such brazen, such disrespect to the indigenous people, regardless if they're Africans or not, this is something that is just straight up disrespectful to the people who are making a change in Africa, the local Africans. I find this to be totally disrespectful. This is a message to all those people. And I mean, they mean no harm. There are good people out there who sent me messages telling me that I am only trying to mess up a really good thing. And we always complain whenever somebody's trying to do something good. I understand, I hear your complaint, I hear your concern and totally agree with it. But all I am saying is look at the facts and just know who you're dealing with. That is all I am saying. This is a great thing and I do agree that it is a great thing. I acknowledge that, but the facts still remain the facts. Please share and don't forget to like and do subscribe to my channel because I need it right now. I'm stuck inside the house, so I need to do something to generate some kind of income, all right? So this might work for me because if I can't do this, I don't know what I could do. You know, I'm going crazy up in here. So please do subscribe. I need you, man. I need you. And drop a comment, man. Say something about this video, man.